Yo, check one, one two. two. Hip hop. To the max. The best in the beat. All the hip hop. It's head cracks hip hop spot. All right, John Rick, the Mountain Morning Show. Hey, it's the bottom of the album. What up, crack bird? What up, Rick? Here's what's going on in the world of hip hop, man. Yo, you know, when you go into like your favorite place where you're stealing your music from to see what dropped today or throughout the week, it becomes overwhelming because, like, there's a lot of people who are coming with it. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you know, case in point today, um, you know, Logic dropped his brand new project, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. On his album, you got, like, you know, YBN Corday, Gucci Mane, Wiz Khalifa, uh, you know, g Easy, Eminem, and shockingly enough, Will Smith. Like, you know, Fresh Prince Jazz Jeff, Will Smith, Bad Boy 3, Will Smith. And he got a <laughs> joint, Don't Be Afraid to Be Different. And yo, it's not bad at all. Take a listen. Fortnite doing the car dance. Come on. It's just different, man. Don't be afraid to be different. Okay. Don't be afraid to be different, y'all. You know, don't it's kind of dope to see him do that, you know, especially in a situation where like you have a lot of new artists that don't like, you know, throw a hand back to the like the, the OGs that came in the game yeah, yeah. And, and introduce them to their fans. Cause right. you know, hip hop as a culture overall is still young enough to where, you know, the guys that started are still around. Mm-hmm. There's new guys still making it. So why do we gotta throw the old guys away when you can do records with the older Absolutely. guys and connect the dots? Man. And be respectful more than anything. Yeah. yeah. Be, right. You know what I love, man, when those young comedians come backstage and they be calling me. OG, it just be so cool and respect with DC Young flying over there. Hey man, what up, OG man? I love what you do, you know. And I just want, you know, I, I don't know. I just like, I just love when new artists respect the old artists because some of them open a lot of doors uh, for the opportunities that they have. Absolutely. So I uh, can continue to build those bridges, man. Just uh, you know, just because you was popping in the '90s don't mean you can't do something with somebody that's in 2019 and vice versa. You know, as opposed to just like you know. Taking somebody's name and running with it. You know who right. you are. Uh, moving on to the hip-hop news. Talk about the Wu-Tang Clan. They got this new documentary on Showtime. It's a four-part documentary celebrating the 25th anniversary of their debut album, um, you know, Enter the Wu-Tang. It's coming on uh, Showtime tonight, so be sure you look out for that. And also, power. Eva, you heard about the new female rap group? What? Who? What female rap group? Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> yes. Don't you laugh, Rock T. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad over here about Battle of the Sexes. Don't make me laugh. Go ahead. Chris. Protect Go your ahead. neck. Yo, if you're a fan of the show Power, um, and, I, and I'm sure most people knew this, but it's about to enter their final season. No. But people act like they didn't know that this was the last season. Like, you're still not ready for it. Like, so, Well, it's going to jump off on August 25th. It's going to be 15 episodes, so be on the lookout for that. And they also got, like, some spinoff shows that they're doing around Power. 50 Cent's working on one right now, which is a uh, like kind of like a prequel that shows what Kanan was doing before he got locked up. No word on if 50 Cent's going to play himself. If he is, he has a lot of exercising to do. Um, Offset, he was shot at, well, indirectly, directly, while he was at a recording studio. He stepped mm. outside to get some fresh air. No. Next thing you know, a car came around the block, blah, 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 spraying bullets everywhere. Mm. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, Offset wasn't injured. But they said someone may have got shot in the leg, but they haven't really confirmed it to be true. Oh, man, you man. have to get your armed police officer to be with you at all times for stuff like that. Then they can call other co- You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're coming out of the studio, man, because it's getting dangerous just going uh, recording. Yeah. It's just like, you know, drive-bys are just like the weakest form of get back and retaliation. Because a lot of times you never hit the person that you're intending to hit. Whole bunch of innocent bystanders. And I want to let y'all know, there are cameras everywhere. And a lot of times, you know, these people are not le- um, actually practicing shooting their guns. They, like, are practicing when they're attempting to shoot someone. Like, no one's going to the shooting range. Yeah, they shoot as well as the guys from G.I. Joe. Like, you're in the military and nobody ever got shot except Duke that one time. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> For this and other stories, I'm following Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud, man. If you're going to be in the ATL, I'm going to be popping up this weekend. I'm performing at the Sweet Auburn Festival. Ooh. Rain or shine. So I'm going to get a rain suit to wrap in just in case it goes left. Turn up. Yeah, man. So check my Instagram for all the uh, info and details, and I'll catch y'all later. Daniel, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.